The original sequence of the mRNA is AUG, UGG, UUC, ACU, AAA, GGU, and UAA. AUG is a start codon, so translation of the mRNA begins with this sequence. The sequence AUG codes for methionine. The rest of the sequence when translated codes for the following codons. Tryptophan, phenylalanine, threonine, lysine, glycine, and finally a stop codon. Mutations can arise that cause the mRNA sequence to change. Examples of mutations are deletions, where a single nucleotide is deleted from the sequence, or insertions, where a single nucleotide is inserted into the sequence. With mutations, the sequence of the mRNA is changed. In the case of the mutated strand of mRNA, an insertion occurred. Because of this mutation, the mutated mRNA now has the sequence AUG, UGG, AUU, CAC, and UAA. Because of this insertion, the sequence now reads methionine, tryptophan, isoleucine, histidine, and stop codon. It is worth noting that the insertion occurred between the G and the U. You have an A that has been inserted into the sequence. Since the A has been inserted into the sequence, a frame shift has occurred. Our mutated mRNA now codes for fewer amino acids and has a stop code on where the lysine should be. I figured out the original mRNA sequence by using this method. You know that AUG and UGG are the only sequences that code for methionine and tryptophan. Isoleucine begins with the A that has been inserted. You notice that phenylalanine has two U's. So the isoleucine sequence is AUU. You then notice that the histidine begins with a C, so the sequence for phenylalanine is UUC. You then continue to do this for the rest of the sequences. It is also worth noting that lysine, glycine, and the stop codon have multiple sequences that can code for them.